The U.S. military is flexing the readiness of its nuclear forces. After carrying out a nuclear-capable missile test this morning in California, the test was initially delayed to avoid escalating tensions with China. The U.S. Air Force described it as a, quote, months of preparation. It was not conducted due to current world events, but this is not the first time the U.S. military has canceled a missile test. They also canceled one in April to lower nuclear tensions with Russia during the war in Ukraine. So joining us now to discuss, retired Assistant Vice Chief of Staff with the U.S. Air Force, Lieutenant General Richard Newton. General, thanks so much for being with us. Good evening, Nicole. It's always good to be with you. All right. So, so we hear what the military is saying, but was this a routine test or was this intended to send a message to China? No, it is a routine test. We've conducted up to 300 tests to date over the decades of the Miniman 3 intercontinental ballistic missile weapons system. By the way, it's part of a strategic triad of, of sea launch ballistic missiles as well as land-based bombers, which is really a, a crucial element of our national security. And so this was a, a routine test, as you mentioned in your comments, that uh, the test was delayed back in April due to somewhat tensions between the United States and Russia over Ukraine. And then also delayed, originally was set for August 4th, but with Speaker Pelosi and her delegation in China, or in Taiwan rather, it was delayed as well. And so we had the test this morning. It was a successful test reported by the United States Air Force and one that we would expect. And so uh, again, this, this is part of a, a normal routine uh, test that we've done through the years that test not only the reliability, but uh, the capability of our men and women who not only uh, maintain the missiles, but also operate them. You know, and obviously, General, you know, we know that those tests are important. We've got to make sure these things work. But how does an ICBM work? Well, they're land-based. There are 400 or approximately 400 intercontinental ballistic missiles in the United States uh, in uh, in Wyoming, in Montana, and also at Minot Air Force Base. I actually commanded Minot Air Force Base as the 5th Bomb Wing Commander and hosted 150 intercontinental ballistic missiles. They are they're in silos, uh, and they are launched. Uh, the intercontinental ballistic missile, the ICBM, is actually the most responsive of our strategic triad, and so it's very important that we test regularly uh, this capability. This was, uh, again, done in a in a format that's uh, not only uh, uh, what I would say routine, but it's also well uh, announced ahead of time so that we don't provoke any type of uh, response. But they, they're they very capable. We're also in the midst right now of replacing the current field of, of uh, ICBMs that we have in the United States Air Force, which we would expect around the year 2027 through 29 to replace the decades old Minuteman III with a, with a new intercontinental ballistic missile. All right, Lieutenant General Richard Newton, as always, thank you for your time. Thank you, Nicole. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.